I mean, what's amazing, he's been working out uh, outside of Boston, and what he's done is he's got this Respoto machine, which videotapes everything. It's pitch FX, it's all these different things combined. He studies, he's working out with Rich Hill, who of course completely altered his life. And people say, well, it just speaks volumes. When he works out for about 12 to 20 teams, and that's Craig, on January 23rd, I've had GMs tell me if a guaranteed contract is not a problem, he's going to probably end up with at least a dozen teams trying to sign him, which is amazing. But it's not just because he's a left-handed reliever. The fact is, this is about the marriage of science, technology, and the art of throwing. I mean, and his workout partner, Rich Hill, is a classic example. This is a guy, first nine years in the major leagues, made $3 million. Last year, he made six. Now he's about at the age of 37, starting a three-year, $48 million uh, uh, a deal with the Dodgers. And the, the, the ability to have, like, that Respoto machine, which... Then Breslow can videotape his workouts. Then he can break it down on his on his uh, iPad. It is absolutely amazing, and I think it's really become a huge part of baseball. You look at, um, I mean, Justin Verlander a year ago in the middle of the season, 2015, was really struggling. He became a scientific and intellectual scholar as far as studying his delivery. Uh, you know, arguably, he's been the best pitcher in the American League ever since. Uh, Rick Porcello is a, John Farrell says he's the most prepared pitcher he's ever met. Max Scherzer is like the mad professor of the Nationals. He's really helped Steven Strasburg. I mean, the, the uh, Ronaldo Lopez, who the White Sox think is the best pitcher they got in that deal for Adam Eaton, has become an absolute protege of Scherzer. They've got Eric Fetty, maybe their best young pitcher, is another guy that does all this stuff. I mean, I, I was so laughing. A scout said to me, after he first of all he watched Breslow and said it is sick how much movement he now has on his fastball and the and his curveball but he said it's amazing you see these guys walking into gyms to throw and it looks like they're carrying either golf clubs or a guitar <laughs> and it's all the setup equipment that they bring in I think it really has become the one of the most interesting trends in baseball and it's I think it's everywhere you go, and it's it's a very exciting time in baseball to be to be watching. I wish it had all been around when you were pitching, Rod. Oh boy, I would have tinkered with that a hundred percent. Yeah. Well